Fora TV. The world is thinking. You're listening to the Commonwealth Clubs and Forum Salon series, and tonight we're talking with Wikipedia founder Jimmy Wales and Wikipedia critic Andrew Keane. A uh, couple more questions. Hey there. Right here. Okay. Um, you, you mentioned in your opening remarks about the creative class, and I think the creative class is actually one of the fastest growing parts of the economy right now. You know, we're kind of sliding into a recession, but the, kind of, the creative class is bullying, bullying the economy. And I was wondering why you said that Wikipedia is kind of making the, the creative class go, go sour. Because it seems to me that all economic indicators are saying that the creative class is kind of saving the economy right now. So why don't you talk briefly about well, that? What do you mean? Well, give me an example. Like, I mean, who are you talking about? Well, well yeah, that's, the, that's the thing. I mean, look, uh, look, the Dun and Bradstreet is saying that the creative economy is growing at 5.5 percent right now, where the rest of the economy is growing at about 0.5 percent. Talking about artists, musicians, writers. I mean, every year there's 300,000 creative uh, businesses that are opened, and you know the creative class employs maybe like 15 million people. That's what Richard Florida says, who's a great, great creative economist. So I was wondering, kind of, how you see Wikipedia is leading to uh, a decline in creative class jobs. I, I, I strongly disagree with your, your, your observation. I, I, th I think you're wrong. I don't see there being more jobs or more financial reward for creative people in this particular economy. I mean, certainly with respect to Wikipedia, well, as I said, I, I mean, I, in some respects, I think it's a very valuable resource and a very exciting resource. I mean, how many people do you employ, Jimmy? Uh, Ten-ish. <laughs> so that's not in that, that it's not well it's not taking away any jobs is it or isn't it I mean look you could argue with respect to Britannica and I know that in some respects Britannica is a f flawed product but at a certain point we, and you know the, the, the thing that is scarce in today's economy is attention for every minute or hour we spend on Wikipedia, we're spending a minute or hour less somewhere else, whether it's the NewYorkTimes.com or Excitopedia.com. I mean, Jimmy, what is your view on, on that? I mean, would you, would you agree with that gentleman that this is a, a golden age, a glorious age for the creative class? I don't see it. Yes, I agree with him very strongly. Uh, we, we're an economy that's very... Uh, consistently moving towards a knowledge-based economy, more and more knowledge-based jobs, fewer and fewer manual jobs. Uh, this is a, a broad trend that has been uh, going on for many years. So, um, you know, if we're, if we're looking at specific details, right, there's always turmoil in the economy. There are always things that are changing, technology changes in various ways, so we, um, you know, we see layoffs at a newspaper and we see massive hiring at Google. Um, there's all these kinds of different things that go on which are obviously disruptive and, and can be quite upsetting to certain people. But in terms of a broad destruction of uh, knowledge-based work, it's, you know, it doesn't seem to be happening but, at but all. But let me just pick up on that last point. So journalists get laid off. Uh, people in the music business get laid off, and clearly someone's benefiting, so people are employed at Google. Who is being employed at Google? Who, where are the new jobs being created? The jobs at Google are people who are selling advertising. I mean, Google, for better or worse, and, I, and I'm sympathetic, I mean, I think it's a remarkable economic story, but creative people, intellectuals, intelligentsia, they're not being employed by Google. The people who are being employed by Google are people who know how to package and sell advertising. So what you're seeing in this economy, and this is, in, my, in some respects, a kind of an intellectual fraud, is that companies like Google and YouTube have figured out a remarkable economic model. You create vehicles for all of us to put our content on these vehicles. We are not rewarded. Their economic value is sold around advertising. And professional filmmakers, professional writers, professional musicians, they're not winning. They can remain writers, they can remain musicians, they can remain filmmakers, but it's harder and harder to make a living as a creative professional. 